What's up guys, Shane Starnes here, and today we're gonna to be taking a look at a pretty well-known vacuum, the iRobot i3 Plus. We'll be comparing it to a lesser known vacuum, the Yeti Vac Station. We're gonna compare all of the features and see which one's the best bang for your buck or the better value. Before we get too deep into this video, I do wanna give a big shout out to Yeti for sponsoring this video and also sending out the vacuum for the video. Let's go ahead and get started. First up, I wanna look at pricing and specifications. The Yeti Vac Station will set you back $499, while the iRobot i3 Plus is going to set you back $599. The Yeti Vac Station comes with 3000 PA of suction power versus 1800 PA of suction power with with the iRobot i3 Plus. The Yeti has 200 minutes of continual usage, while the i3 Plus only gets about 90 minutes of continual usage, meaning it's going to have to return back to the base station to charge much more frequently. One of the main benefits of the Yeti Vac Station is the visual slam mapping. So it has extra cameras and sensors to actually see where it is going. So it's gonna know where it has been and where it still needs to go to clean efficiently in your house. This is a feature that is not included on the i3 Plus. So it doesn't have any sort of smart mapping. You're not gonna be able to send it to a specific place in your house like you can with the Yeti Vac Station. The Yeeti Vac Station also has the added benefit of including not just the dry vacuum, but also a wet mop function. So it's actually going to vacuum and mop your floors all at the same time. This is not a feature you're gonna get with the i3 Plus. Like we mentioned earlier, the Yeti Vac Station has almost double the suction power of the i3 Plus, and where that really comes in handy is when you hit rugs and carpeted areas. This actually has a feature that detects carpets and rugs so it can turn off the mopping feature and also increase the suction power for a good deep clean on those carpeted surfaces. So we'll kind of take a look at each of the vacuums. Uh, this is the Yeti Vac Station with the dust bin. To open up the dust bin, you're just going to press on the top and that's gonna pop open. This is your uh, changeable bag here that you'll need to change probably once every 30 to 60 days. If you look at the top of the vacuum, you've got your sensor and your camera up top. You do have a power button. If you open up the top here, you have another power switch. You've got a little Wi-Fi signal light here. You've got a QR code. This is where you're going to be able to scan to get this connected very easily with the app. There is a little brush tool here for cleaning the brush Charging. underneath. You've got really easy access to the dustbin here. You can just lift that right out. If we turn it over here, you can see the big wheels that are gonna allow this to go over any surface. You've got the turn wheel up top. You've got the connection points for charging. You do have a little side brush here to sweep things into the main brush here. This does have a rubber and bristle brush. And then you've got your water reservoir here that you're gonna fill up with water and you can attach your mopping pad here to the back as well uh, for the mopping function on this vacuum. So you might notice uh, there's a couple of little holes here and here, and then here you've got a couple of little suction holes here with rubber gaskets. That's how it's going to empty the dustbin on the vacuum into the dustbin on the vac station. All right, over here we've got the iRobot i3 Plus with the docking station and dust bin. Uh, here you're just going to lift to pop the top and same scenario here. You've got a changeable bag that you'll need to change every 30 to 60 days. You don't have any cameras or sensors on the top of this vacuum. It doesn't have the visual mapping feature like the Yeti Vac station. You do have a power and clean button there and you do have a home button. I actually do kind of like this cloth. I think that looks really sharp on the i3 Plus. If we turn this around to the bottom here, you're gonna see like, this has a dual brush in the middle. This kind of just like sucks everything into the center of the two brushes and just kind of like crushes that into the dustbin. This also has pretty substantial wheels to get it onto carpet and any surface you're gonna put it on. This has your charge connections here. It has your steering wheel up top. It has a side brush here to get stuff from the corners and edges into the main brush. In order to eject the dustbin on this vacuum, there's a little button here on the side 
that you'll push and that kind of swings that open. That way if you need to clear any bigger debris out of this dustbin, you're able to do so. Um, of course, this is going to send dust from this little port to this little port into the dustbin. So you're not really gonna have to be cleaning this part out yourself very often. These are both great vacuums, but a few things do stand out when you're talking about day-to-day -day use. So they do both have their own dust bins. These dust bins on both units are going to last 30 to 60 days. So you're actually gonna be able to set these up to run automatically and you won't even have to worry about vacuuming or sweeping for a couple of months at a time, potentially. One thing that I really like about the Yeti vac station is the fact that it has a slim profile. This means that it's going to be able to get underneath objects much better than the i3 plus. So I actually have uh, some couches and chairs that sit kind of low to the ground. The Yeti is able to go under those. It's able to go under bookcases and dressers uh, with no problem whatsoever. So the dust that would usually accumulate in those spots will not accumulate because I can actually suck that up with the Yeti vac station. That's not the case with the i3 plus. I really like the extended battery life on the Yeti vac station. It can actually clean most of my lower floor without having to return back to the base station for charging. The i3 Plus has to return several times before it finishes the job, which means that it's vacuuming much longer. And without that mapping technology, I just feel like it doesn't get the exact same square footage of coverage as the Yeti Vac Station. The Yeti Vac Station has that smart mapping technology and I feel like it just does a more efficient job of getting all the square footage in my house. While both of these vacuums are pretty delicate and I don't think that they're gonna cause any damage in your house, neither one of them have an object detection in the front, which means that they are going to bump into things. The Yeti Vac Station is pretty high powered. I did notice that it was actually knocking some chairs away from the table, moving them you know, an inch or so. Um, I didn't notice that as much with the i3 Plus. So both of these are, like I said, pretty delicate. So unless you have something that's there that is incredibly breakable, I don't think that it's going, either one of these are going to cause any damage in your home. When it comes to noise levels, the i3 Plus is very loud, especially when it connects back to the dock station and empties the dust bin. The Yeti vac station, on the other hand, is really quiet. Even when it's running through the house, you barely know it's there. And when it does return back to the base station, it is not nearly as loud as the i3 Plus. The mopping feature on the Yeti vac station is definitely a great added bonus. So if you have, like me, I've got lots of wood floors and lots of tile in my house. And so for me, a streak-free clean is what I'm really looking for. If I'm gonna have any kind of mopping done, I need that to be streak-free. The Yeti vac station does a great job mopping up the floors and you know, definitely doing some light mopping in between more deep cleans. This is definitely going to hold you over. Next up, I wanna take a look at the applications. The iRobot application gives you a few options. You can start the vacuum to auto clean. You can set custom cleanings. Uh, basically, you can set up time cleaning, so set the amount of time that it's going to clean. You can see the historic information of when it is cleaned, and you can change the settings of the robot vacuum. The application for the Yeti Vac Station is a little more in depth. You've got all of your map information, so you can see the different areas of your house, and you can actually send the vacuum to those areas to do cleaning in those specific areas. You can set up a timer for when you want your vacuum to clean. You can set auto cleanings. You can even set up virtual boundaries. So say you have a play area, the vacuum will know not to go into that area and clean. And then of course you can change the settings for the vacuum itself. I really like both of the vacuums. I love the fact that they both have the dust bins so you're not having to constantly empty out the dust bin on the vacuum itself. You can go several days without having to worry about that. When it comes to the Yeti vac station, I do like the added benefit of the mop. Also like the fact that the Yeti vac station has a higher suction power and has a higher battery life, meaning it's gonna take care of more of my overall square footage in less time. So I just think that overall, the Yeti vac station is much more efficient. I also like the lower price tag, and I think that it may be the better bang for your buck. What do you guys think? Which is the best vacuum out of these two? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Once again, big shout outs to Yeti for sponsoring this video. Thanks guys for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.